Today I'm going to show you how to take one fashion look and shoot it in three completely different ways. Plus, we'll talk about how important purpose is to your photography. Everybody, Lindsay Adler here and when I am planning a photo shoot I always think about intent purpose where are the photos going to go maybe it's going to be a commercial advertisement maybe it is a cover of a magazine maybe it's an editorial maybe it's album art because all of these different places will slightly change my approach to the photography in particular the lighting and so that's what you're going to see in action today I'm going to take this striking fashion look and gorgeous model and I'm going to shoot it in three different ways. Now what you should notice is that no one approach is better than the other, but it all depends on intent, purpose, where the photo is going to go. So in our first shot, my intent is going to be classic, timeless magazine. So perhaps it's an editorial. In my second shot and approach, the image is going to be much more commercial, poppy. Maybe it's on the cover of a magazine, uh, it's a photograph of a celebrity. And then my third approach is going to be much more creative. Maybe it would be for an edgy fashion editorial for a magazine, or maybe it would be album art. So one look, three drastically different ways. Now, before we dive into these three different setups, I wanna talk a little bit about the gear that I'm using. Today, I'm shooting with the Canon EOS R5 and the Canon RF 24 to 105 lens. This is my go-to setup when I am creating fashion images. These strobes that I have are Profoto D2s. I have an assortment of different modifiers. So let's actually take a look and I will break down each of the lights and the modifiers that I've chosen and why. For our first shot, I'm using a single strobe with a Pro Photo beauty dish and a grid. Now the reason I've selected this modifier is because it creates a beautiful quality of light on the face. And remember, my first concept is I want something that will be a little bit more of a timeless editorial. And keeping with just one light that's beautifully sculpted is going to help me achieve that look. Adding more lights is not always better. In fact, especially with beautiful styling and hair and makeup, sometimes that's enough to carry the photograph. It doesn't need to be all about the light. So let's take a look at what we're working with here. Perfect. So you can see as soon as the light hits her face, it is beautiful and sculpted, that color pops. I'm happy with this shot as is, and it's just a single strobe. But now let's say that I'm photographing a celebrity. She certainly looks like one. And uh, I want to put them on a cover of a magazine and I need something that's a little bit higher key, poppy, glowing. And so how would I change this shot? Well, first of all, when I talk about high key, perhaps a brighter background would do the trick. So behind my subject, I have another light, another Profoto D2 on a floor stand, bare bulb, and I'm going to turn that on and overexpose the background. This is going to give me a glowing high key look. And then I'm going to add my second strobe. My second strobe is a Pro Photo medium umbrella with diffusion, which is basically just a soft light source. I'm going to bring this around to the front of the frame and use this to fill in the shadows. So this is going to lighten the shadows on the darker side of her face. All of these things lead to a brighter, poppier, uh, more high key result. So let me add those next two lights. One. Okay. All right, so you can see in this shot, everything is much higher key and she's just glowing. So now for our third, our final setup, my concept is that I'm shooting perhaps for an album cover or maybe for some sort of magazine that lets you get a little bit more creative with your photography. And so my thought process is I want to play around by adding a little bit of color to my shot, perhaps by adding gels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the second and third strobe, the background light and the fill in the exact same place. All I'm going to do is add a gel to each of them. To my background light, I'm going to add a green gel and to my fill light in the front, I'm going to add kind of a blue cyan fill. This is going to really give another level of life to the photograph by adding color. So let me do that and we'll take a look at what we're working with. All right, so now we have a completely different look, completely different feel, a totally different approach. As you look at these three different images, they would all go to a different purpose, a different client, a different publication. 
What's your opinion though? Which shot do you like best? Do you like it looking a little bit more timeless? Maybe you like the higher key, more commercial look, or maybe you like playing around with color and getting more creative. Which one of these shots is better? It, it doesn't matter, that's my point, is that it all depends on your purpose, the intent. How are you going to be using these photographs? Now, the shots so far are pretty much the same, the same pose, right? My recommendation would be this. When you know your purpose and intent, you can then change expression, makeup, maybe the hair. All of those things are going to work together to reinforce what you're trying to achieve in the shot. And that's really why photography is just one element of a successful photograph. So now that you can see how all of these different elements affect the shot, and I've tested them out here, I'm going to dive in and make the photograph through the pose, through the expression, and uh, through a little bit of experimentation. So let's go get the shot. All right. enjoyed watching me shoot these three different looks. I'd love to hear which one you think was most successful and why, so be sure to let me know in the comments. And by the way, if you want to see the gear used in the making of these photographs, be sure to check out the links in the description below and visit Adorama.com. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, let me know by subscribing, liking, commenting, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!